why and how are you so good at being such a bad guy? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, I, I don't see him as a bad guy. I think that's the key. I, I do see him as justified in the things that he's done. Um, of course, he's lately been taking it a little over the top and getting a little crazy, some of the things he's been doing. But when he first came to Salem, considering the fact that he was thrown in jail for 30 years for crime he didn't commit, I felt he had every right to have a big chip on his shoulder and want vengeance against his brother, who knowingly put him there. So I think the audience can understand that part. I feel like if you take out a couple of words, you could say the same thing about David. I mean, he was... Absolutely. He, he had some issues. David definitely had some issues as well, and I think that's always the key, is that the backstory substantiates the actions of the character. It's important for the audience to have an understanding of why they do the things they do, and David was a perfect example of that, because when I first started on the show, we didn't have any backstory at all. My character just came on, and we saw the potential. I definitely saw it. They saw it. I was only supposed to be on for three months. They've offered me a contract, and in the first six months of the contract, I went to the um, head of the network at the time, Andrew Shapiro, and also to Gene Daddario Burke, the executive producer. We all sat down and I said, it's a great character, but I could see this character disappearing because we don't. the audience doesn't know him, doesn't know his backstory. We have to come up with a story. We have to bring somebody on the show that knows him intimately, knows him from his past, and knows why he does the things he does. And they agreed with it, and they came up with a fantastic story. Brought Marge Doucet on the show. She was my mother, and we came to find out that his father committed suicide when he was an 11-year-old boy, and he watched it happen, and he father bled out in his arms. And from that point on, it was like he became a world-renowned cardiologist trying to save his father. Every time he saved the person's life, he was fighting death itself. And, and he was kind of screwed up from the fact that his mother egged the father onto that. So there's a reason why David's pathology was so, like, twisted, you know? What does it feel for you to have people now who are still so invested in that character that they wish, hope, pray that he yeah. could at some point in time pop up somewhere? Well, I, 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 I love that. I love that the character has left an indelible impression upon so many people. And I love the opportunity that I had to work with Fanola when we worked on the show. Um, the characters worked really well together. Um, and it is General Hospital, so I'm sure they could use a doctor every once in a while, especially if she's, if she's ailing. Um, so who knows? I mean, it would, I, I, it would be a privilege like any other show that I've been on to have the opportunity to work with those same people again, some of them that I've worked with for years. So it would be great. We are asking the folks who I interview to give me a question that I ask to the next person in line. We don't know who it'll be. It could be anybody. The question for you is from Gina Tonioni. Oh, okay. Her question is... <laughs> okay. What do people need to know about you? What do they need to know about me? Um, I don't know. What do they need to know about me? What do they need me, to then? know about him? About him personally me or personally? the characters? Just him in, uh, as a person. Oh. Um, well, I guess... I, He's not like his characters. That's no, a plus. That's a, that's I'm not. I'm not. And even though that's not easy for some people to recognize, there had certainly been times throughout my life that people were like hostile towards me because they thought I was David Hayward. I'm serious. I was in a church once. I was involved in a, a, a Christmas uh, pageant, and the mother of the lighting designer came up to me. The, the lighting designer came and said, "My mother was so upset that you were in the show." I said, "Why?" She said, "Because she didn't think it was appropriate." I'm going. I'm not David Hayward. I'm an actor performing a role. I'm like, I mean, people. I'm like, she couldn't really discern the difference between real life and fiction. I mean, that's crazy. So I'm not like my characters. I'm not really my characters at all. So. And then, really quickly, what is your question that I should ask the next person in line? Okay, that's a tough one. I, I wouldn't have thought of something like that. Um, hmm. It can be any. It can be trivial. We've had people ask, "What have you had for dinner?" Um, anything. Uh, where the, which which coast do they prefer to live on? West coast or east coast? That's a perfect one. All right, you got it. All right, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. nice to see you. Thank you. It's good to see you, you too. <laughs>